Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So the market is moving up, moving down. We haven't really had significant movement over the last few days. At least it's not very boring. The market still shows some volatility. However, uh, pretty much without clear direction. Well, it's trending down pretty much. You know, we have seen um, since this correction started on the 9th of December, a little more than a week ago, we have seen lower lows and lower highs, adding to our thesis that a correction is unfolding, a wave two correction, um, nothing major, you know, not like a major crash or anything, simply a corrective pattern, basically a pullback in an overall uptrend. This structure typically um, suggests accumulation is a good idea yeah, because um, we have a clearly defined support area. Now, again, it's just support, it's not really target. Um, it's just a pullback zone that the price could reach in this current correction. I would like it to reach that one. Um, 2008 is the first support area, then 1905, then 1807. Based on the microstructure, if this one is unfolding, which I'm going to show you in a minute, we should reach the area between 1807 and 1905 in this correction. Roughly 1860 is the ideal target, but... Um, that can still change a little bit, you know, based on the microstructure and certain micro extensions that might play out. You know, if certain subwaves are extending or so, then we may have may have to be a little bit more um, flexible and have to change that target. Now the target can the target can be um, calculated more precisely once we see a little bit more price action here. But the movement to the downside is corrective. We haven't got impulsive price action down which is good. If it was impulsive, it would scare a lot of people. Now, don't get me wrong, we need people shaken out of the market to continue the uptrend, but we've just had, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of uptrend. So it's good if the market cools down a little bit, but not in an impulsive fashion. We don't want it to crash down. We want it to come down slowly, you know, bore people out maybe. I know it's boring, but at least in these... Um, diagonal patterns or corrective pullbacks you know we it, it's slowly you know it's structures building step by step it's not like a rapid sell-off um and that's i think healthy so good news is we see all this overlapping price action we call that corrective it indicates that indeed yeah some kind of a correction is playing out so basically that the move up was a trend um where you could say a trend following move it's following the larger degree trend or it's moving in line with the larger degree trend because it's a five wave move and the structure of the decline suggests it's a corrective move which should form a three wave move and um, be a counter trend move. So if the move down is a counter trend move, it suggests basically, second, it suggests um, that the trend is up, right? So that's what we are looking for. Just need to adjust here the support area think actually I might just shifted it by ten dollars I don't know what went wrong or if that spike appeared here I don't know so it um, shifted it up by ten dollars I need to double check that later but not sure what went wrong there um, anyway it doesn't change anything so the idea is still that we have started this wave two pullback um, the wave one did what it needed to do I have a few different structures that I'm observing here the first one is that the a wave of the cor so such a correction is typically an ABC structure, we likely already saw the A wave, we likely already saw the B wave, and this could now be the C wave. It's not an impulse, so it would have to be an ending diagonal if it's already unfolding. And if it's an ending diagonal, then we saw the wave one, possibly already the wave two. Then we get a wave three down, four up, five down. If really the B wave topped here, and if really the one two setup already completed, and we're now in the third wave down, then yeah, we should really reach the area here around 1860. Um, yeah, but it needs to it needs to progress to the downside now. Um, what is also possible is that either this wave two extends a little higher, that's still possible, or that we get a reset of wave B, which at the moment presumably topped here on the 15th of December at around $2,332. So that can, of course, extend a little bit. Um, it would shift everything down a bit. Wave A would have to sit here then. That would be a larger B wave then, and then we come down in wave C. 
But as I mentioned in the last few videos, for me, I just want to see an ABC structure. We can't predict every single wave, but ultimately what we want to see is a three wave structure and ideally see the price get into this price region and hit the support level. And yeah, it might take a little while, but um, it gives us a bit of time to accumulate. Okay, so at least that's sort of my perspective at the moment. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.